High Grade Shaldol Rogue. Hey, what's up again, everybody? It's Robert184, 2 rs 2 bs Gundam Dot. TK and his Captain Monkey D. Luffy is overseeing the Gundam Age of Pirates here as the Dark Hound and Captain Ash spins into view. It's time to take a look at the Shaldol Rogue, which is all put together, see its unique parts in the MS and Verdict, all here in one part. But don't forget you can get more information from my GXs or Shaldol Custom High Grade reviews as well. And the empty plates are going to be giving you the body parts that you see there with the backpack, the buster. You've also got the axe, a couple of beam sabers, and you are going to have some leftover parts if you want to cut them out and put them on here that you could use and salvage from the Shaldol and GXs. For the unique parts here, focusing on the pirate skull theme that we've already got to see so well with the jack edge here, you're going to have the regular shell doll face over here, and basically just the front part here has been replaced by one that's going to have a lot more toothy look to it. And when you combine the yellow seals with the purple, it's going to definitely, even from a distance, going to come across as looking unique and interesting. The Dodds Buster is not going to be all that intimidating, but if you want to go ahead and put some lining in there, it's got some opportunities for it. You can see down there where you would just take off the actual hand and go ahead and then plug in the arm itself. And it's going to look okay down here for the barrel as well. As the Gundam Age kits have been using these cuffs here effectively, you can just take this one off here. And then what you'll do is take the buster, attach it on. But I've got to say that it's not going to come across as feeling particularly secure. It almost feels more secure if you put it on the wrong way there. But when you do have it on there, no good so far. But to get around that here, all I've done is I've taken this purple part here and separated it. It was on here pretty tight before, and so with just a little bit of separation when you put that on, hopefully it's going to get rid of this and air in terms of any weight issues there. Because it is actually going to be really light, it's definitely going to increase the length of the arm and have a distinct and unique look from the regular hand manipulator beam rifle combination that we've seen so many times. The beam axe is going to be looking pretty good as long as you don't get up there too close to see it. The handle should be done up in white here and said it's just going to be in grey coming off that unique plate here. And when you put on the white seals you'll notice that they're going to be overlapping a little bit. Or they're not going to be overlapping quite enough here. But they are going to be covering more than one surface. So you put it on, bend it over, put on the other one and then bend it over there. And it's the same thing for the pink so where you do see the separation there. As you can see it you're not going to have anything covering up the front. So it's just going to be the top, bottom, and the sides. Looks good, but really could have been better if it was actually plastic, of course. And when he's all put together, I think you are going to notice the two shades of purple there. I'm a fan of both of them. With an open hand here in the left before he gets fully armored up. But instead, remember he's going to have that Dodds Buster there permanently attached to the right arm if you want to go with that choice over the regular hand, which definitely I think you should be doing. And when you combine it with the yellow eyes there and the fearsome face, he is going to be pulling off a pirate feel. Grunt comparison first here in terms of height next to the GX's jack edge. And the first thing that you're going to notice about this guy is the all purple color scheme as opposed to the two-tone over here. Also, just in terms of lining, I went with black over here and just a little bit of silver. So that's going to make him stand out even more. You are going to be noticing the yellow eyes here for this one a lot more than you are going to see over there. But in terms of the cool faces, you'd think that there were some classic anime fans demanding that the GXs would take the edge in that category. Next to the G Siphos, he's going to be having a two-tone look, whereas this guy is going to be having also the same two purple tones to go along with the nice gray and the silver touches. So definitely the Siphos is going to be winning in the color department, but they definitely fit variations of a theme here, just the left and right hand missing. With all the Visidian Pirates having a very different color scheme from their main mascot in terms of just fame and fortune, we've got the Dark Hound here, actually done up in nice dark colors. And finally, the main matchup has to be the Shaldol Rogue against the Shaldol Kai there. And you'll notice that there's going to be no difference except for the colors here. A definitely a more muted one there on the left. And the grey is going to be pretty exactly the same, including up on the shoulders there. The big difference is really just going to be that mouth guard and the weaponry over here. As you can add this one onto the hand, he's also going to have the option of the regular beam sabers. Which is still one of my all-time favorite gimmicks here to imagine a high grade reaching back there with either hand and pulling out the beam saber, although really he can only use one hand in this instance. 
And in hand on the ground, the bright pink is going to provide a nice contrast against the dark background. But the real reason people would be shelling out money besides a love of pirates here would be to see the Dodds Buster there. It's going to look great as he looks down the barrel of it and just the general high quality of the high grades in terms of their posability means that you can get all sorts of dynamic blasting poses. As no matter which side of the body you have it blasting off towards, he's going to be looking pretty dynamic. With the bottom line being that he's going to stand out and be very unique compared to a beam rifle equipped Gundam or Grunt, no matter what pose you put him in. But with the beam axe in hand there, the white and pink again going to contrast so much with the otherwise bland body scheme there in terms of coloring. This guy is going to have a fun manga feel to him and definitely just look like he's going to be a good mix with the similarly styled crazy GX's Jack Edge. Definitely two tough looking customers here in terms of the melee department. But when you're cleaning off your plates, don't go throwing out the shield because you can still do some cool stuff with them. And he's going to look even better when you put him up on the air. And again, it's going to be showing off those thrusters that they mention as a selling feature on the bottom of the feet. So for some final thoughts specific to the Rogue version here of the Shaldol, first of all you're going to be paying 100 yen more for that, and you're getting the nice plate there that's going to be giving you the buster and the axe, which is going to be a lot of fun. The seals are going to be unique, I'm a big fan of the yellow metallic seals there for the eyes, the pink and the white is going to look good on the B-Max there, and this part outside of that one part issue that I had where it was going to be falling off, ultimately this kid, I like the Shaldol and I like the GXs. And when you've got this guy and the ability to pull out the beam sabers, which they are going to be giving you, including an extra, the bonuses like the shield, you can go and do up just a dark version of the regular Shaldol Kai if you want to. But ultimately, the new features in terms of the weapons on either hand, very distinct, very piratey, and just definitely going to help stand them out. And if you want to look for a grunt to build up your Vicidian army and just generally add to the grunts of Season 3 if you have a melee going on your shelf, this guy is definitely going to stand out. The GX's Jack Edge was fun, but I may even give this guy the edge in terms of being more fun in terms of the weapons. But the combination of all of the pirates together here, with the fun that you're going to be getting with the Shell Doll and the new pirate theme, definitely a recommended kit if you're a fan of Season 3 and General Piracy. For the future, we've already got an advanced grade of the GX's Jack Edge, but there's not going to be any Shell Doll Rogue as the AG line has definitely uh, finished up with a nice solid finish there, 24 kits in total. But this guy is a high grade, is a lot of fun, but you can't imagine anybody out there who's going to be imagining we'll be getting this in a higher grade in the future. But Bandai did a good job of getting a lot of different kits out of some pretty simple molds here in age. Not a bad thing though, because they were well designed, and that's one of the pluses just to see the new colors and the new shapes. Anyway, everybody, why don't you let me know what you think of this one in particular and the Vicidian Pirates, and stick around for lots more news, reviews, and everything else you can use. Thanks for watching. See ya. Axe Morgan, Gunhan Shaldal, I'm confused.